Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to answer the question is the iPhone really the better video creation tool that everyone praises and I thought I get this entry-level mid-range iPhone the iPhone SE 2020 and want to compete it or compare it with the Honor 50 which is a yeah, entry-level mid-range device I would say so we will have a little video battle the Honor 50 versus the iPhone SE 2020 which one is better in video this is recorded in full HD 60 frames per second so keep that in mind they can both go to 4k 30 the iPhone even 4k 60 so I will attach also uh, we'll do another video basically where I compare 4k 30 video but this will be in a separate video so I don't have to cut so much and have this large files and large upload so uh, first of all full HD 60 frames per second so let's get started so let's start off with the Honor 50 and its main lens and what you can see directly on the main lens is you get this nice background blur and you get what I'm rec what I was using before for recording and uh, yeah in the sun is maybe not so good because it gets sun flare but this is 1080p uh, 60 frames per second this is the stabilization you can get with the Honor 50 and the quality you can get with the default application nothing much tuned or tweaked just like hit record plug in my microphone a wireless microphone here we are USB type C adapter and I hope this will work on the iPhone as well so let's try out the iPhone so and now the recording with the iPhone SE 2 or SE 2020 edition. It's an entry level iPhone, I know. And if you want to compete it, you or compare it, you maybe try out the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12, or something like this. But I think this is a higher price, a lot higher price than the uh, Honor 50. So I thought maybe mid range to mid range comparison is good enough as well. I know the iPhone SE 2020 has a smaller sensor, I know it has a worse sensor, it has a sensor from uh, the iPhone 8 basically but the processing on the iPhones is yeah, said to be so good that it can blow even newer Android phones away and yeah tell me in the comments if this is true or not this is full HD 60 frames per second on the iPhone SE 2020 so of course uh, the iPhone did not work with the dongle and the wireless microphone that you can see here so uh, now a little bit of focusing, close focusing test. This is the Sony uh, W2BT, I think it's called. It's a wireless microphone. And uh, this is the setup that I used for the initial shot. As you can see here, my Xperia 1 Mark III. And I used uh, Filmic Pro here for the shot. And I used the uh, three point what is it 3.5 3.9 times the, the, the tele zoom lens for for this shot so get nice background blur and on filmic pro i used the adamant uh, uh, color filter uh, someone mentioned it so i thought okay let's do it and yeah you can see you get background blur with the iphone as well a little bit if i go close to something there we have the uh, receiver for the microphone there we have the uh, usb-c deck um, that I use for attaching to the wireless microphone so but to make it even I will use this uh, wired one that I have right now the lavalier one from Sony and here you can see the Honor 50's uh, main camera is uh, 108 megapixels so a big difference to the iPhone one and uh, this one has a very large sensor as well so this is a little bit of filming around this is stabilization this is maybe also hdr a little bit and this is how it looks like uh, for uh, not 4k full hd uh, 60 frames per second with the iphone se 2020. so here we have the same setup now filmed with the honor 50 and uh, let's go close up on this sony microphone i think this is as close as you can get before oh no can get a bit closer and uh, not closer because it gets unsharp but i think same system basically same distance like the iPhone 
and yeah details and levels and so on should be the same let's take a look at the tripod here and the filmic pro application the cool thing about the filmic pro application is this here levels so you have levels so someone can check if the levels are okay even for the external microphone or something like this and as you can see here i'm using the uh, narrow the telesens on this one and i have the profile set here to adamant which i told you already before but now i can show it to you how about the background blur i think it looks a bit blurrier than on the iphone the quality in general i think is pretty okay and uh, hdr sun and so on should be also okay let's take a look at uh, the dongle first that i used this is the lightning dongle for the iphone i used to three and a half millimeter it doesn't obviously have a deck inside so probably it has a deck inside of the iphone that cannot handle this little receiver which is the uh, sony w2bt i think it's called yeah um, and this is the iphone product red and uh, iphone logo and 12 megapixel main camera i think one over 255 inch size sensor which is pretty small maybe it's a bit larger i don't know you can write down in the comment section which sensor size it has i really don't know oops <laughs> break it yet uh and it has like this old school fingerprint that you have to press two times i thought first of all it's broken because i pressed one time it's just giving me the lock screen i have to press again but no it is like uh, for some reason like on safer rest you have to press two times on the fingerprint <laughs> sensor so it reads the fingerprints and uh, unlocks the phone this is running also ios 15 for those people who were wondering about this so yeah um what do you think colors uh, background blur and hdr uh, i think pretty clear that the honor one here but yeah you can tell me in the comment section what you think about this and uh, yeah let's see here we have uh, the two videos side by side and on the left we have the honor 50 and on the right we have the iphone so what you can see here clearly in the video is that the honor 50 has much more contrast and the iphone yeah lacks the contrast uh, do we see any differences in background blur i think not in this zoomed out stage if i zoom in a little bit you can clearly see i'm very very sharp this has something to do with also processing but also uh, contrast that is added to the honor 50s image and if i go to the iphone image you can see yeah i'm also sharp not as sharp as uh, on the honor 50 and the background blur is not as strong let me do this again here take a look at the background blur especially the lamp in the background and now let's take a look here yeah it's not as strong as on the honor 50. Uh, in general you can see this um yeah throughout the video as well as you can see here the um orange like or red kind of face that you get when the sun is shining through this uh, little transparent roof here uh, that has an yeah orange uh, or reddish kind of uh, hue to it is the same you can see that the iphone clearly has the narrower field of view i was holding both phones in my hand and well, probably arm's length roughly and the uh, honor 50 has a bit of more punchy colors as well you can see it here in the greens in the background i think it is more artificial on the honor here and more natural on the iphone here when it comes to the shirt itself i think both do a good job it's a bit brighter on the honor 50 i would say then uh, let's check here uh, the next one where we also can see a difference in terms of hdr and again this high contrast the look of the honor 50 in comparison to the iphone which has like a bit of muted color and uh, well when it comes to the face i would say the honor 50 does a bit a bit better job when it comes to representing what was really my face looking um, back then when i was looking into the sun and here in the iphone i look a little bit too red in this case uh, which is a bit of unnatural i would say uh, granted the iphone wants to like keep like uh, not too harsh contrast and is trying to yeah get the shadows up lift the shadows up but uh, yeah this is like what you can see in both basically uh, the same washed out background you can see it here maybe a little bit 
still and uh, yeah this is basically my conclusion when it comes to the uh, two uh, video files and you can clearly see this also in the other clips as well uh, so uh, less contrasty look on the iPhone uh, more contrasty look on the uh, on a 50 more details on the on a 50 throughout the video better background blur better sharpness in the picture and a bit softer on the iPhone um, especially in my beard region you can see for some reason the front here is a bit unsharp the rest is sharp it's a bit of weird when we take a look at the codec information uh, do we see it here with both are recording in uh, 48 kilohertz audio is this actually true let's check this out here on the other file it's 44.1 on the uh, on the iPhone and uh, 48 uh, kilohertz on uh, the on a 50 44.1 kilohertz on the iPhone uh, Rec 709 so BT 709 actually it's called here is the um, color scheme and both are recording exactly the same um frame rate change so the iphone is a little bit faster here than the honor but it's like uh, almost negligible when we take a look at the let me mute this here and to show you uh let's play it back and get this back we have roughly 33 uh megabits per second as a data rate for the video on the honor 50 and if I do the same thing on the iPhone video, you will see that the iPhone video has two. This is not true. <laughs> Let's play it back again. So it starts with 20 or something, but usually it is like 11 point something. So the uh, average rate is somehow around 11 megabits per second, sometimes a bit lower, sometimes a bit higher but it's around 11 megabits per second as you can see here sometimes it's 12 but it's like yeah less than half of what the honor 50 is uh, doing and uh, producing when i take a look here at the statistics you can see it's like 30 almost like always 30 around 30 megabit per second and uh, yeah the iphone is only doing 11 megabits per second in 1080p 60 frames per second so you can see here clearly the honor 50 won in terms of details it won in terms of um, also lens flare a little bit uh, this is a short comparison between both of those phones so you can get a less contrasty look on the honor 50 as well if you want to but by default it's a very contrasty look so now you saw the videos full hd 60 frames per second which i would personally use for filming i know some people want to see 4k even though the honor 50 can only do 4k 30 frames per second i will do another video just the 4k samples cut together very quickly small little video so i don't have to cut too much so which one has the better colors which one has the better stabilizations which one has the better overall video quality you decide i know it's only 1080p 60 frames per second but still as i would use 1080p 60 frames per second and many out there would use it for filming which one would you choose the iphone se 2020 or the honor 50 just write it down in the comment section that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to support such tests and more reviews and tech interesting news then um, Subscribe to my channel and that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye Which one I choose this one, of course No one will Ever make me switch to an iPhone, I guess